So today I actually have a review video for you, but also an installation video of the Baby Lodge anti-tip safety straps. This is what they look like right here. Basically they are an anti-tip, a TV and furniture safety strap that can be used to secure heavy furniture to the wall or your TV, a flat screen to the furniture or to the wall behind it so that it doesn't tip over on your children. So some quick features about this before I actually show you myself installing it on the TV on our playroom is that it is heavy duty straps and solid metal parts. There are no plastic parts, velcro, glue or adhesives. All the mounting hardware you need is actually here in the packaging so I'll show you what comes inside. So you'll find two sets of straps, there's going to be two of these long ones here and that's what those look like and then there's also going to be two shorter straps which look like this here. Along with that you're going to find two sets of screws, bolts, and washers that you will need to use. And lastly you will find installation instructions as well but I'm going to go ahead and show you how I install it. So the long straps are actually great because it makes it easy to use on any size piece of furniture or distance from the wall. They're adjustable in that aspect. And the fact that there are actually two pieces to the strap is great because you can easily detach it if you need to move the furniture away from the wall if something fell behind it or you need to get back there and clean. You can just detach it and easily put it back together. All right, so now I'm just gonna show you how I go ahead and install this on our TV. Okay, so we're now in our playroom, as you can see, and this is the TV that we have set up down here. So it's just sitting on this kind of entertainment unit here, but it's not secured in any way. So if our kids were to climb up on here, they could easily pull on it and pull the TV over. That's what the back looks like there. All right, so I just turned the unit around so that we could see the back here. We've already cut ventilation in the back here, so that's why there's holes here, but we're not actually going to screw it into the back of the unit because this is not very solid wood. We're gonna be screwing it into the top of the unit because it's the most solid wood that we have. So this is actually quite simple. So there's the two long straps here, and there are holes in the straps, as you can see. So basically, you're gonna line it up with the topmost hole on your TV here. So I'm going to be lining it up here and screwing a screw in right there. Then all I'm going to do is take the other piece, the small piece here, and I'm going to be screwing that, like I said, into the top of the unit here, using the two outer holes, just like that. And I'll show you that as I go along. Another awesome thing to note is that they provide you with every possible screw and washer you could possibly need to screw this not only into any kind of TV, but any kind of surface and a wall as well. So there's a long one for the wall, the shorter ones for the actual unit, there's lots of different sizes for the, the type of TV that you have and different washers as well. So anything you could possibly need for any configuration is right here. All right, so I'm just taking this screw, placing it in the hole, and then I'm going to screw it onto the back of my TV. All right, so if your piece of furniture had a solid backing to it, what you would do is take this piece and place it eight inches below the actual TV. But since we don't, we're actually going to mount it right, up, right here on top. So you're just gonna line it up with the strap here where you want it to go. Take a marker and mark it, and then you're going to drill two holes. All right, so I have my two holes there. I'm going to place the piece on top, and I'm going to place the screw in the hole, and then bolt it down. All right, so I have it bolted down now. All I'm going to do is push the button here and feed the top strap through. And then I'm going to pull it tight so it's nice and taut, and let go, and now it's secured. All right, so for the second strap, we decided we're actually gonna show you how to mount it to the wall in case that's an option that you want to do. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna need a stud finder. You're gonna place it on your wall, turn it on, and find out where the stud is. All right, so this is where the stud is, and then you wanna measure six inches down from the top of your TV. So that's going to be right around here, and we're gonna place a mark. All right, so now I'm just gonna drill a hole in the wall. All right, so there's the hole there. This time I'm going to use the center hole and I'm going to use the longest screw. This is the two inch screw and I'm just going to screw it into the wall. All right, so we are attached to the wall now. I'm going to take the strap and again, place it through. Pull it all the way until it's nice and tight. Let go and there we go. As you can see, the TV is not gonna move. 
All right, and here are two ways you can mount it. So right to the furniture or right to the wall. Either way, it's not going to let the TV fall over on the child. Can't pull it over, can you? No. It's not gonna fall on you, is it? Can't. Can't. As you can see, it was really easy to install and I definitely have peace of mind now that that's done, especially since our TV is in the playroom and so close to the kids. If they were to climb up on the cabinet, the TV is not gonna fall on them. But like I said, you don't just need to use these on a TV, you can use these on other pieces of furniture like dressers, bookcases, and armoires. And with that said, you can not only attach these to the wall, but other pieces of furniture as well. So if you're in the market for a TV or furniture straps, I would definitely check these out. They're really easy to use, very inexpensive. I will leave the link down below if you want to check it out and they are very effective but if you have any questions at all please let me know and thank you so much for watching bye